episode of Ask the Grizzly. Um, I was asked by my friend Preston um, to show some of my favorite wrist locks. So I'm going to do, I guess, what we could call a top five wrist lock. I'm just going to kind of lightly explain these scenarios as I go through. Okay, so the first one is more of a self-defense wrist lock. This is one that will get you in trouble in tournament if you get caught doing it. So when a person goes to grab my lapel, rather than try to yank this out, I'm gonna trap their hand in the lapel. And then when I turn in, I'm turning in so that they can't pull the lapel away. I'm wrist locking, blocking with the leg. And then I have a, a Tay Nagi hand throw takedown. Transitioning to the next wrist lock, okay? I've attempted an arm bar, okay? And he's giving me hands. Okay, most people think of the wrist lock going this way, but he's kind of blocking with his hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top hand and do an inverted wrist lock as such. All right, so another scenario is that we go into like an omplata position. So you may want to come around so you can see. For whatever reason, I'm just not quite getting this. He's squirming. I'm having a hard time keeping him still here. So I'm just gonna do a palm press wrist lock right there. Okay, going back into the guard position. I've kind of got some fabric, foot in the wrist, okay. He realizes this, bad, this is bad news, so he's starting to pull his arm away. I'm gonna block here, and I'm gonna do what we call a cobra neck wrist lock, because it's like the eyes of a cobra looking back at him. And then finally, from a scarf hold position, I've gone for the chopstick armbar, but I'm not getting it, okay? He has resisted the chopstick armbar. He's trying to get away, so I'm gonna palm press him from the chopstick armbar. So that's top five wrist locks. Once more, self-defense technique from the lapel grab. I am trapping his hand in my lapel. Okay, since it's self-defense, I can always blast him in the face, eye gouge, whatever it is. Trapping. I'm doing like a leg wheel, okay, and I'm using the, the Tainagi, the hand throw, wrist lock takedown. I go into my arm bar, okay, he's blocking the arm bar. So rather than trying to do a traditional palm press, I'm going to grab here and do an inverted wrist lock from the arm bar. From the omplata position, we transition, boom, 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 all right. He's giving me a hard time, so the own plot is just not happening, and I'm really having to focus on keeping him secure here, so I'm gonna palm press him as such. Back in the guard position, I've started to set up my arm bar. He gets wise to it. He starts posturing, pulling his hand away, and cobra neck. And then finally, from the scarf fold position, I want my chopstick arm bar, Okay, he's adjusted his arm so that the arm bar is not happening. I go behind the knuckles, palm press wrist lock from the chopstick arm bar setup. I'm Sensei Grizzly. This is Dustin. We're here at Octagon MMA. That was my top five dirty wrist locks by Shinto Fightwear. See you guys next month.